Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is smash that like button like it's your Alabama cousin, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor. If you want to get your hands on this Thought Tears mug, then visit my Teespring store down in the description. You can also get your hands on the Cure for Feminism t-shirt and classic tank top. If someone doesn't like it, then you can ask them if they're being Islamophobic. I also have a Sane Man t-shirt, and 25% of the sales proceeds go to the artist, as well as the classic Sandman sticker and mug. You can also get the entire Sandman collection through digital download or USB key if you want through email. Those are the sound files for the first five seasons of my channel, so you can have those to take on the go. Each season is 15 US dollars. Finally, you can also talk to me via one-on-one -on -one coaching through Skype for only $45 an hour. My contact email and Teespring shop are the first links down in the description. And now on with the memes. Number one, someone asked Grok to make an image of Kamala Harris announcing price controls, and here's what they got. There's even a picture of Lenin in the background, and she looks like a third world dictator, and the mustache shoots her quite nicely. We need to call this the Madero plan. Here's another one that made her young and attractive. It's shocking that she once looked like this. Here's what she actually used to look like in 1997. Op Nexus Man sounds upset because his girlfriend has had many sexual partners in the past, but now wants to wait until marriage to sleep with them. She's post-wall and most likely has baby rabies and wants to trade commitment for sex now, but in the past she gave sex away for free. Sounds like this woman found herself husband material. She's a Christian now and a born-again virgin. This guy needs to run away now. Number three, if you decide to burn rubber on a rainbow flag, be careful that your car tires don't get some monkeypox. Maybe we need to quarantine the car so the disease doesn't spread. If the pox spreads out of control and the WHO declares it an emergency, maybe next year this could be the pride flag. Moving on, this 25-year-old teacher sobs as she spared jail after having sex with one of her students. She broke down and cried crocodile tears in court and said that she was deeply ashamed. These are the same types of women that'll then turn around and say that men have it much harder than women do. She's only crying because she got caught. But imagine how long a male teacher would go away for if he did the same to a female student. Number five, this guy's girlfriend never wanted to go on hikes with him. She abandoned her dog and left him. Now he's taking the dog on an eight-mile hike, and he's never seen a dog more happy. Looks like both of them are better off without her in their lives. I'm sure she's probably going to see this and be spiteful and want her dog back now. If she abandoned her dog, then she would have made a terrible mother and this guy sounds like he dodged a real bullet. Up next, the mother and her children return to the same beach 18 years later. What do you notice? Help me out here. Did the father come back or something? But seriously, it looks like her eldest daughter transitioned and now looks like Carlton from Fresh Prince. The mom also looks like she hasn't aged in 18 years. Meanwhile, her daughters look twice as wide as she does. I hope that the father is actually the one taking the picture. Number seven, what do Mike Tyson and Michelle Obama have in common besides backs that look like your average linebacker? I wonder what team she played for. Do I think Michelle is a man? Until I see proof like Mr. Winky, no, I don't. Do I think she's masculine though? Yes. And what does it say about Barack Obama when he's with a woman that's more masculine than he is? Moving on, may I make a humble suggestion that we introduce pole dancing in the next Olympics in the place of break dancing, which is being removed. If it does end up becoming an event, I don't ever want to hear women complaining about strip clubs ever again. I can't wait to see a 300-pound lady performing like a rotisserie chicken on a pole there. Unfortunately, on second thought, that might be a very, very bad idea. Number 9, a father stops giving his daughter pocket money after reading her Facebook status, which reads, all men are trash. Good. He should also threaten to kick her out if she says anything like that ever again. Why doesn't her mother punish her or stop her from saying it? But seriously, why do women trash men when the man is providing for the life that she wants? This sort of stuff needs to start happening more. Op next, this Lonely Fools model was arrested for beating her grandmother up in paid videos. Apparently, her grandmother was telling her that she was disowning her for being an online whore. Then the model assaulted her in response. I wouldn't be surprised if this wasn't just staged for attention and to make more money because now more people know that her Lonely Fans page exists in the first place. After all this article was written about her, 
And this is free promotion, even though some men will actually laugh at her. Number 11, what do we call this body shape? The bubble butter may be the apple bottom. Perhaps the trickster because a big round moody today is one dragging on the ground tomorrow. I.e. it won't look pretty at 40. I'll bet you anything that milkshake does bring all the boys to the yard. My favorite is business in the front and a party in the back. Whatever this body shape is, it didn't exist 20 years ago. Moving on, the UK police threatened to arrest Americans for their mean tweets criticizing mass migration in England. Is anyone actually scared of this? I would be worried if Kamala gets elected and she decides that extraditing people to England would be a great idea to bring the two countries together, violating your First Amendment right in the process. As for the British coming to extradite Americans, they tried that 248 years ago, and it didn't exactly work out in their favor. Number 13, Mark Hamill is charging between $400 and $700 per autograph. What a sellout. The joke's on him, though. He destroyed the value of his own autograph by turning into a loser that drank milk from the teat of a giant space walrus. If you don't believe me, then look at these autograph pictures that aren't selling on eBay for $160. Him asking way more just reeks of desperation. Up next, Gwyneth Paltrow is selling a candle that smells like her vag. Why would any man with any self-respect pay for this? All he has to do is set some fish on a fire while adding a hint of lavender. But instead of fish, this probably smells like a midlife crisis. Besides, I never did like the smell of grilled carp. Maybe she should also package those up with an autograph and sell them together like Mark Hamill for 700 bucks. Number 15, a son man aged 61 who chanted who the F is Allah is jailed for 18 months. This is what the newly elected socialist British government does at work. I have this feeling that CERN is malfunctioning and we're no longer living in our correct timeline. Looks like the UK is bringing back blasphemy laws, but only for people who blasphemy against Islam. Looks like the state is radicalizing the indigenous population. Moving on, looks like Vice President Kamala Harris is a female chameleon. After J.D. Vance wanted to raise the child tax credit to 5K, Kamala decided that she wanted to raise it to 6K. Talk about being petty. Vance says that it'll be difficult to pay for that, but it won't be difficult for Harris because she's just going to up capital gains rates and tax unrealized gains. Here she is also copying Trump like some high school student after he said he wouldn't tax tips. Number 17, but Kamala is not just going to follow Republican policies. But what she's really going to try and do is fix the prices like they do in Marxist countries. I'm genuinely afraid of her winning the White House and dragging the country down. Actually, this is a better version of that poster. This one displays her leadership skills in a way that everyone can understand. Up next, what kind of culture does this to their women? Clearly Islam, and I saw this for myself in Egypt. Women fully covered up going into the Mediterranean Sea like this in Alexandria. A culture that imposes hardships like this on women is full of aggressive masculine energy. The West is the opposite because it imposes hardships on its men, and therefore is dominated by feminine energy. Look at this again, I thought that Batman didn't come out during the daylight hours. Number 19, speaking of dominant feminine energy, in the UK this feminist home secretary wants to make extreme misogyny to be treated as terrorism. Does she mean that a man telling a woman to make him a sandwich is now considered extreme? The UK seems to be dealing with anything but grooming gangs. I'm sure that the men doing that won't be classified as misogynists. Misogyny will be dealt with in a two-tier way. If white males display it, then it's extreme. But if foreigners do it, that it won't even be considered misogyny. Moving on, this 24-year-old man became a rugged uncle after going on a five-month-long hike after a tough breakup and depression. He looks like he aged 20 years in less than six months. They say that nature is relaxing. Not if you see what it's done to this man's face. That's not aging. That's UV damage and stress from worrying where your next meal is going to come from. I saw 10-year-olds in Egypt that lived outdoors and they looked like they were in their 60s. Now, after looking like this, this guy will never get a girlfriend again. Number 21, I asked guys if they would smash Isabella here. She says she doesn't need to post half-naked pictures of herself on social media because she's someone's future wife. Her excuse for dressing up like this is that she hasn't been out past her bedtime in quite some time. You guys need to understand that she's probably had her fun on the rooster roller coaster and is now saying she doesn't want to pose in a racy way 
because she's looking for a man to settle down with. Up next, who would win? One trillion feminists or this thin corridor? That depends on how much lubricant they put on themselves before they try and slip and slide their way through it. But we all know that the hallway would win because, to a libtard, you need to weigh at least 240 pounds with colored hair. Feminism is only for fat, ugly women and simps. The male feminists would have no problem getting through that opening, as they are usually bean poles. They could get through as easily as you would throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Unfortunately, none of the feminist women want male feminist hot dogs down their extra-wide hallways either. Number 23, this woman is attempting to sleep with one person from every country, and she shared the worst nationality in bed. This is probably how monkeypox began. Looks like she belongs to those international streets. If you want to know her political affiliation, then just look at the green tinge to her hair, as well as those tattoos. Maybe she needs to try at least four from every country for more reliable data. Moving on is a masochist, and he tells his girl to punish him. So she does by getting Alexa to play a Taylor Swift song. That sounds more like torture to me instead of punishment. But unfortunately, he did ask for it. Here once again is the man's ear when he hears Taylor Swift. It's definitely a cruel and unusual punishment. Number 25 and the last one, here's a picture of Rachel Weiss and Patricia Velasquez. After 20 years. Looks like an Aksuna Moon aged off a cliff. Can you just imagine how awful Rachel Weiss would look if she didn't get any plastic surgery? For reference, this is what Patricia used to look like. Now she looks like the mummy version of herself after she was mummified in the film. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series and want me to keep making it, then donate it to PayPal and subscribe to our links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.